Hello, welcome to another video on our channel. Here we translate testimonies of people who have had near-death experiences. Today, we are going to hear Daniela Gordon's story. She recounts that she died and saw the future. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now. Turn on the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Now, let's listen to Daniela's testimony. In 1997, I was accompanied by my five-year-old son, two nephews, and my husband, who was following us in a truck because he needed to transport a ladder for a family dinner we were heading to. The nephews, always eager to spend time with me, preferred to stay in my car, where I was with my son, as we left home towards one of the main roads for the family dinner. However, our trip took a terrible turn when an elderly driver ignored a stop sign and collided violently with us. The impact was directed to the left side of the vehicle, thank God, because I was driving at that moment. If the impact had been a little more to the right, my life would have turned into a nightmare because my son was on the right side. After the collision, I was crushed in the chest and abdomen area, with my daughter trapped under the car's dashboard. My son had a small nosebleed. My husband, immediately getting out of the truck, rushed to us upon seeing visible blood on our son. He did exactly what any father would do, sacrificing himself to protect his child. While he took care of our son, I realized that I could no longer breathe. My lungs wouldn't expand to take in oxygen. In an instant, I understood that I was about to die. I looked at my nephews and my son, feeling blessed that they were okay, but still, I couldn't regain my breath. Then, suddenly, something astonishing happened. After realizing I was losing the ability to breathe, my entire life flashed before me in an instant, though it felt like a fraction of a second. After that moment, I knew I was dying. Suddenly, I found myself in a completely unfamiliar place, unlike anything I had ever experienced. There were no visible lights, no one to guide me, despite hearing that some people have this experience. However, the place I was in was incredibly peaceful, unlike anything we have on Earth. It was a serene and tranquil place, and I felt the presence of a dominant male figure, although I couldn't see it. This presence conveyed protection, love, and tranquility. Upon arriving there, there was no verbal communication, but a kind of intuitive knowing, a mental connection. I instantly knew that I needed to look at my physical body and bid it farewell. My head was to the left, my feet to the right, and I was facing my own body. I didn't have the sensation of floating, but I realized my eyes were closed and I was no longer breathing. It was time to say goodbye to my physical body because I understood it was just a vessel carrying my soul. As I bid farewell to my body, I began to look around, completely awestruck because I had no idea where I was. Everything around me was composed of shades of gray and black, in intense contrasts. It was an incredible and unforgettable sensation. Looking at the horizon, what struck me was the infinite, I felt blessed to have had the opportunity to glimpse the vastness of infinity. I also noted that there were no windows, ceilings, or floors, no set temperature or time. There were no worries or fears that came to mind. I remember thinking to myself, my God, this is home, this is truly our home. We all have a place here. After scrutinizing it thoroughly, I felt extremely privileged by this experience. After an intense influx of information, I realized that I would need to write perhaps one or two entire books to encompass all the available information. Suddenly, I was graced with a profusion of dazzling colors. While Earth has wonderful colors, and artists perform incredible feats incorporating them into their works, the colors I saw were of an unmatched vivacity, brilliance, and uniqueness. It was simply spectacular, mind-boggling, truly stunning. After the complete download of information, I bid farewell to my physical body and could witness various situations happening on Earth with clarity and understanding. Later, while observing my body, 
which I now understood to be just a physical shell, I saw my soul leaving it completely. It's important to note that my soul never stayed in my deceased physical body, it departed entirely. It was at this moment that all the observations, knowledge, and information reached my soul, not my physical body. At this point, my soul began to rotate about 35 to 40 degrees to the left, indicating it would not return to that physical body. However, it was at that moment that I was abruptly brought back to the trauma unit, where there were many doctors, nurses, and several other people in the room. They made attempts to stabilize me, it took more than six hours to achieve stability. My husband, worried, ran back and forth between me and our son. We brought our son to the emergency room, where he was examined to ensure he was okay. So, my husband ran tirelessly between the two of us. At one point, they talked to him and said they didn't know if they could save me, but they were doing their best to stabilize me at that moment. Finally, they succeeded. It was well past midnight, about six long hours later. The results of this situation were terrible. I suffered so many internal injuries that I lost count of how many surgeries were needed, but considering the invasive procedures as well, I can confidently say it was easily more than 50. However, I'm grateful to all of them because they saved my life. I spent over 10 years in physical therapy, including aqua therapy. I had to learn how to breathe properly again as I had stopped expanding my lung and was breathing shallowly. I also had to learn to move my arms and legs properly. It was a long process. I was in a wheelchair and had an internal brace, enduring many injuries. I lost parts of my body due to internal bleeding, and doctors tried to save what they could. Sometimes, I would go home after surgery, only to be rushed back to the operating room one or two weeks later. Additionally, I faced many complications during pregnancy, resulting in four miscarriages due to these complications. All my children were born prematurely, one weighing only one pound and two ounces, another two pounds and twelve ounces, and the third four pounds and fourteen ounces. However, the great blessing is that they are all fine, with absolutely no problems. In other words, amidst the struggles and blessings, life continues its course. Our ultimate goal, regardless of how we define it, is always to become better souls, to evolve and grow. Sometimes, when we reach a certain level of elevation and positive energy, wonderful surprises happen in our lives. Many souls have shared with me how surprised they were by the amazing things that happened in their lives. We all have a biological field, something I like to call personal space, where we feel the energy of people who come into our lives. Learning to discern between different feelings is crucial. The more positivity you attract to yourself, the more positive things happen. It's important to be the best version of yourself in everything we do. This is not a competition but an inner journey of doing what is right, being kind, respectful, and compassionate. Never judge people based on labels, as it can close them off in their own lives, causing significant harm. So, what did you think of this incredible story? Leave your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's bring hope to more people that there is life beyond what the eyes can see.